Hey everyone, my 10 year old daughter and I put together this list of the top 15 movies you should watch before going to Disney World. Something to know before we start. If the movie is in a franchise, we're including the whole franchise within that category. All right, let's get to it. Number 15, Pirates of the Caribbean. Not only are the movies great, they have a whole area in Adventureland dedicated to pirates. The ride is one of the best dark rides in the world, and you're going to want to know about this dog and the keys. Number 14. The Little Mermaid. Ariel and her friends have an area in Fantasyland just for themselves. You'll find their castle, a ride, and Ariel's Grotto where you can meet Ariel. Number 13. Alice in Wonderland. Not only is this a classic Disney film, but you'll find the Mad Teacups in Fantasyland. It's an awesome ride to do with the kiddos. You'll also find character meet and greets near the Teacups in Magic Kingdom and in the UK in Epcot. Number 12, Avatar. In Animal Kingdom, you'll find Pandora. It's one of the most immersive lands in all of Disney World. While you're there, don't forget to ride Flight of Passage, one of the best rides at Disney World. And the kiddos can adopt a banshee afterwards. Number 11. The Many Adventures of Winnie the Pooh. In Magic Kingdom, there's a ride named after the story, there's a gift shop, and there's an area to meet Pooh and Tigger when we're not in this whole COVID thing. There's also an area in Epcot in the UK Pavilion where you can meet Winnie the Pooh. You'll also find him and Tigger and some of his other friends at some character dining experiences and in the parades. Number 10, Ratatouille. There's a brand new ride in Epcot in the France Pavilion, Remy's Ratatouille Adventure, and it's a really good ride for the kids. You can also play a game of hide and squeak as you find Remy hidden around the France Pavilion. Number nine, Aladdin. In Magic Kingdom's Adventureland, you'll find Agrabah, which will include the magic carpet ride. And if you're lucky, you might catch a character or two. And in the Morocco Pavilion in Epcot, sometimes you'll find Aladdin and Jasmine wandering around. Number eight, Frozen. In the Norwegian Pavilion in Epcot, you'll find the ride Frozen Ever After and a character meet and greet of Anna and Elsa. And in Hollywood Studios, you'll find Frozen Ever After. Number seven, Beauty and the Beast. In the Magic Kingdom, you'll have a view of Adam and Belle's castle. You'll also be able to eat at Be Our Guest Restaurant, which is an amazing experience. You can eat in the West Wing as the rose petals drop. And if you're feeling like a little snack, you can go to Gaston's Tavern, located right next door. Number six. The very first animation film ever made, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. You'll find the Seven Dwarfs Mine Train in Magic Kingdom. It's one of the best kid-friendly roller coasters on property. And if you're lucky, sometimes you can find Snow White as a meet and greet. Number five, The Lion King. You'll find the Festival of the Lion King at Disney's Animal Kingdom. It's our family's favorite show of all. You'll find Lion King theming throughout Africa in Animal Kingdom. And in the new show, Kite Tales, you'll find Simba flying high in the sky. Number four, Peter Pan. In Magic Kingdom, you'll find one of the most popular rides on property, and it's Peter Pan's Flight. Next door, you'll find a spot to meet Peter and Wendy, and in the nighttime show, you'll see a certain pixie flying across the sky. Number three, Star Wars. Galaxy's Edge, found in Hollywood Studios, 
is one of the best themed areas in all of the parks. You can ride the Millennium Falcon, build a droid, build a lightsaber, join the resistance as they fight the Empire, and soon they're opening the Star Wars Hotel, which lets you write your own Star Wars story. Number two, Cinderella. It's Cinderella's castle that immerses us into the fantasy land of Magic Kingdom. Your kiddos will be able to wave to her and Prince Charming in the Princess Parade. You can find her at Princess Fairytale Hall, where you'll also find a certain glass slipper. You'll also find her hosting breakfast, lunch, and dinner at Cinderella's Royal Table. And we've made it to number one. Before we get to number one, I wanna remind everyone to please like and share and subscribe to our channel for future videos. All right, here we go. Our number one is Toy Story. In Disney's Hollywood Studios, you'll find Toy Story Land, where you become a toy and enter Andy's backyard. There are amazing rides like Slinky Dog Dash, Toy Story Mania, and Alien Swirling Saucers. You'll also find Woody's Lunchbox, which is a nice quick service dining. And then over in Magic Kingdom, there's Buzz Lightyear's Space Ranger Spin. Disney does a great job of including Toy Story's characters and experiences in all of their parks. And that concludes our list of 15 movies that you should watch before you go to Walt Disney World. Thanks so much for watching and have a magical day.